Hello, my good friends. Uh, we're sitting here over at uh, Superstore. I'm stuffing my face with uh, juice. I love juice. Anyway, uh, this is uh, Remembrance Day today. Uh, Bobby. Um, and Veteran Day in America. Uh, I was telling them, tell my friends, uh, Miss Ohio and uh, uh, Erica, where I left the host that I, uh, um, I don't, I don't have a picture of my dad on the spin. I, I will be today, uh, but uh, I was telling, uh, telling them that uh, I was going to show everybody my, my dad. Okay, that's him there. Okay, he was uh, 18 in this picture. I never knew him. When I, was when I was telling that Erica this morning about what happened to him, she's like, oh my god. And uh, for, for those uh, not in the know, uh, back in 63, uh, that was uh, uh, two, two and a half. They were going to take me that day to uh, Toronto. Actually, the truck uh, crashed in uh, Cooksville. Cooksville was uh, uh, in Mississauga. I've never been there. Uh, I mean, I've been in Toronto, but not Cooksville. And uh, um, the truck they were driving had uh, two tons of bricks. Uh, it sat for two weeks after it had a brake job. And then we touched it until he did. So the brakes must have been working okay, be like when they went to go pick up the, the, the bricks. Coming back, they didn't work so good. They were, they were going downhill. And this is uh, January 3rd. So I imagine the uh, roads were, weren't dry, uh, even if they were, I mean, I, uh, I don't, it's not going to help with no brakes. So they end up uh, crashing it and the brakes move forward and crush both of them. Um, and then um, my, uh, my mom, uh, uh, so she loses a hubby, a hubby and a dad. That's my Canadian grandpa. I, get, I had an American one too. He, he wasn't very nice. He was mean to me. He was mean to everybody. Uh, um, so my mama, they had her on a suicide watch for uh, three months. So yeah. The, uh, oh, and in, in, in the same year, Kennedy uh, gets uh, taken out. So they, in '63, my mom saw her hubby, dad, and one probably the best American president in America. And and in this, the current one. Oh, he's a lot of people talking about this one. Lots. And, uh, and I'm going to be talking about them right now. Uh, I was telling, telling my buddy and uh, know me there. I said, well, uh, be prepared to be embarrassed a lot. Uh, to, to the rest of the world, uh, well, you had a choice of two, and both are bad anyway. Uh, uh, um, the other choice, they would have had a... a They would have had issues uh, within their own country. Uh, uh, outside the country, at least you, at least you would have had a, one that could, you know, not embarrass the, <laughs> embarrass the country uh, like, like Trump's going to. Nobody's going to want to talk to this guy. Our Prime Minister? Nope. Don't bother Parma. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. So, so yeah, one of my blogs here, I, I, I said, well, uh, <coughs> um, Whatever, whatever bad bad country wants to attack America, you're not going to pick a better time than right now. Obama, um, <clears throat> well, he, he, well, okay, that that was pretty much a posture in anyway when he took out Bin Laden just before the the his his uh, re-election that that pretty pretty much got him in right there. Oh, uh, my uh, my laptop. I've been watching uh, the Venetian Affair with uh, Robert Vaughn. Uh, okay, I'll watch that later. Um, anyway, <coughs> uh, uh, okay, since this is a Remembrance Day and Veterans Day, <coughs> I'm going to throw in some numbers. Numbers that uh, uh, I, I look, I look, look for, for the longest time, I only. I only looked at, a, like for the Korean War, because that's what he was in. I spent three years there. Uh, okay, I looked, looked it up this morning. 
Canadian side, they said 26,516 didn't come back. And basically they're pretty much uh, buried there somewhere. <coughs> uh, American side, there, uh, I, don't know, I don't know how many got sent over, there was uh, 30,000 plus didn't make it. Uh, for seven years, they've been parked on the border. When I was in Calgary, I was getting numbers from South Korea. There's 60 to 70 percent didn't want U.S. military there. You're about to get your your wish, whether you like it or not. Everybody knows this is going to happen. North Korea is going to roll in. And okay, uh, I don't know if you've looked at uh, aerial aerial shots of uh, Korea. You will see South Korea has all kinds of nightlife with the lights on and everything. North side. Zero lights, zero. Uh, uh, <laughs> there will be no lights on in South Korea once the North moves in, and it won't be long. Uh, Trump's going to want money for that. They don't cop up the money, they're gone. Okay, so this is a Nomi. As a might want to have some uh, jobs for this. Uh, Sixty thousand that have been parked there for the last seventy years, and. It's not just 60,000, they got families. So you, now uh, it's going to be in excess of 120,000 coming from there. The military there is about to see what Trump, Trump is like. Okay, for starters, he didn't want Mexico. He's got a vice president that's uh, anti everything. Uh, so now the military wants to bring in their, their family and, and their Korean. Uh, uh, <laughs> it should be interesting. Uh, so, so then, uh, 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 um, okay, the rest of the world didn't want, want to chip in and help anyway. If it come down to the money and so Korea doesn't have it, well, the rest of the country is not going to help anyway. So, so now, uh, um, North is going to roll in and nobody's going to do anything. Who wants to? Definitely our country isn't going to, because uh, we don't even have peace shooters. And uh, I was telling my sister this morning, we're sending 600 guys over to uh, uh, Africa. It's not military. It's supposed to be peacekeeping. And I said, sir, people from around the world, they don't care if you've got a blue helmet on. If you're in the way, they're going to tell you, get out of the way, or we're going to make you get out of the way. And if it comes down to the bullets, oh well. That blue helmet will not stop you from getting killed. It's it's not it's not a bulletproof vest, I'm sorry. It just isn't. Bad guys will take you out. They'll take out anybody. The the that's what bad, bad, bad guys do. And uh uh oh uh, my uh my dad right here uh I was I was telling my sister he says he he wouldn't have went for either one of these uh, candidates in the US. He would have said they're both bad. Both of them. Uh, then he'd probably say, oh, I'm, I'm glad I'm over here. <laughs> and, um, uh, you know, and my sister, uh, his sister, as much as I don't like this, uh, the prime minister we have, you know, the one that kept at 50 million or 50, 50 million plus that was supposed to be a match donation for, you know, the fires in Alberta, they, they, they kept that money. Uh, as, as much as I, I despise that, and I wouldn't be crying no crocodile tears if he got run over by a truck today. Uh... I, yeah, that's that's a pipe dream for me. I said no, I, I still wouldn't trade him for Trump. And she says, my sister says, oh, oh, oh I would. I trade like a hundred of those. <laughs> oh, oh my. Uh, oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, mayhem. Oh, and oh yeah. Uh, 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 so I, I forget who was talking to this. Uh, might have been Nomi. Even. I says. Uh, uh, pay close attention, not just the first year, him being it, it's the, the final year, because <laughs> that's, uh, things will start uh, rocking, I, I don't, and, you, and you have to persuade uh, public opinion to, uh, and that's providing that you have somebody better than Clinton in there, one with a lot le uh, less baggage, oh, that, that told me he was baggage. And oh, uh, okay, uh, so um, uh, the one that uh, racist idiot, uh, what's his name, uh, David Duke? 
Okay, uh, you, you can quote me on this, and if he goes missing in this country, um, I'll, I'll take the blame for it, whether I did or not. Uh, he comes over here, uh, I'm, I'm going to take him out. Yeah, I don't mean to dinner. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, for David Duke, uh, that, that racist uh, goof, he, he, he was the head of the uh, Ku Klux, Ku Klux uh, Klan. Uh, that's the biggest bear on this plan, uh, plan. And he supported uh, Trump. That's, that's, that's your friends. That's Trump's friends. Oh, and Putin's buddy, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, how many bad guys can you hang out with? Oh, it's either uh, embarrassed for us or old, or, or embarrassed, well, you, you're going to embarrass this country. Either way, <clears throat> um, you know, oh, Trump's going to do a fine job. But who, who's going to what? I, I call him, I call him, uh, 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 what's the name there? Uh, Elmer Fudd. <laughs> What he is, he's over fun. Oh my god. Okay, anyway, uh, I gotta, I'm gonna uh, watch a bit of this movie, then I gotta get a, catch a bus at 3 30. Uh, pick up a few more things here <coughs> for the watch um, on Sunday. Anyway, uh, uh, I try to remember everything I don't have stuff written down. Uh, uh, anyway, yeah, have a good uh, Memorial Day and Veterans Day, and you, you guys rock.